What's worse than a nuclear bomb? How about Russian nukes that can launch themselves without any approval from a human being? Feel scared now, huh? And yeah, you heard it right. It's not a nightmare, not a fantasy, it's a reality. Nice. If you didn't know, there's a so-called dead hand system, also known as perimeter, which basically is a doomsday weapon developed by our friends in Soviet Union during the Cold War. Its only purpose was to ensure that if there is a nuclear attack on the USSR, the country would still be able to launch a revenge strike, even if the country's leaders had been killed. This system was officially called Command and Control System of Strategic Nuclear Forces of USSR. Yep, long and boring, just how we like it. But here's the best part. That hand is completely autonomous. That's right, comrades, we don't even need to push a button or give the go-ahead ourselves. The machines are in control now. Isn't technology wonderful? In 1970, the possibility of a war between the United States and the USSR seemed almost real. So, the Soviet government was too afraid of a surprise American nuclear strike. Therefore, they decided it would be a great idea to create a system that would guarantee an inevitable revenge strike against aggressor, even after a nuclear impact on territory of the USSR. Here's how it worked. Before the perimeter actually launches the revenge strike, its algorithm checks for presence of several conditions. Well, at least thanks for that, I guess. Firstly, if a nuclear attack has occurred, and by the way, it would even adjust the scale of its revenge strike, depending on the size and location of the primary nuclear attack. And once again, it's completely autonomous. How convenient. Secondly, perimeter checks if communication with Soviet military and, of course, political leadership has been preserved. Lastly, it runs some tests to see if communication with command posts wasn't restored within a certain time. If all tests fail, then kaboom. Well, actually, not yet. In this case, there will be a launch of command missile. This missile doesn't have any nuclear charge. Actually, it has no warhead at all. Instead, it would fly above the Soviet Union territory and transmit radio signals to each and every remaining command and control point, as well as to the launchers of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now, those big boys do carry nuclear warheads. What happens next? Stalker in real life, I guess. And don't you worry about the system malfunctioning or launching a strike in error, because it was designed with multiple safeguards and failsafes, since the system would require confirmation from multiple sensors, because we all know how trustworthy Russian technology is. Yes. Yes, I snap. And that it never malfunctions, or gets hacked, right? Right? Now you should be asking, is this system still operational today, or is it only a ghost from the past? Russian government kept exact details of the dead hand system as a secret, but hey, who needs transparency when it comes to nuclear weapons? Instead, let's just speculate and rely on the rumors to fill in the gaps. So let's all give a round of applause to the dead hand system, the monument of trust in technology and human decision making. But here are some facts to think about. In 2011, the commander of Russian strategic missile forces, Colonel General Sergei Kurakayev, in an interview with a newspaper called Komsomolska Pravda, confirmed the operational state of perimeter system. But then, in 2018, Colonel General Viktor Yesin, the former chief of Russia's main staff of the Strategic Missile Forces, stated that the perimeter system might become ineffective, in the wake of, of course, the United States' withdrawal from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. I believe the truth lies somewhere in between. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Go!